The Labyrinth was an underground prison devised by the cruel King Minos of Crete. <gasps> and within this labyrinth lived the Minotaur, a man-eating beast, half human and half bull. Theseus, hero of Athens, vowed to defeat the Minotaur. Would he succeed, or would he be the monster's next victim? The fate of Athens' finest men and women hung in the balance. This is the story of a courageous warrior who would, against all odds, attempt to free the people of Athens from the tyranny of a cruel king. Being small of stature as a boy, Theseus understood what it meant to be at a disadvantage over a force more powerful than himself. Whoa! I got a bite! A big one! <laughs> <laughs> Born so puny and weak, mother. It's not fair. What you lack in strength, my son, you make up for with your wits. Is that all there is for me? To outsmart a fish? You are destined for greater things, Theseus. Far greater. His mother told Theseus a secret she had kept to herself all these years. He was the son of Aegis, king of Athens. My father? A king? But why can't I go to him now, Mother? There are evil men who wait for your father's death in the hopes of stealing his throne. Men who would kill the king's son if they knew he existed. It is not yet safe for you to join him. Then when? When can I go? On the day that you can move that rock. Then you will be ready. Your father has willed it so. Fired with determination, Theseus set out to train himself for his task. How can I move it? There must be a way. There must be a way. There must be a way. In his daydream, a seagull sent by the god Poseidon paid Theseus a visit. Theseus. 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 Uh, me? I have a riddle for you, Theseus. Do you like riddles? Uh, sure. Okay. I guess so. It goes like this. I can crack clams open whenever I want. But shrimp and scallops I cannot. Why is that, Theseus? Uh, I don't know. It's simple. I can crack clams open because they're heavy. Shrimp and scallops are too light. Use your opponent's size against him. Then his strength will become yours. Wait! Wait! Come back! Come back! How do I do this? I don't understand! I must try again. Do not fear your opponent's size, but use it against him. Then his strength will become yours. It is your father's sword. 
You have proven yourself both strong and wise, my son. You are ready to join him. As it turned out, Theseus arrived in Athens on the very day that his father, King Aegis, was forced to make a terrible sacrifice. Please calm yourselves. I must draw the rest of the lots. Ictonus. I am he, your majesty. No! Please! Don't take my son! What's going on? Is this some kind of royal tribute? It's a tribute to death! That's what it is! Well, what do you mean? They'll be fed to the Minotaur, King Minos's monster. Aspasia! <gasps> no! 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 Fourteen of Athens' best men and women, never to see their loved ones again. Every year, King Minos demands his sacrifice as payment for King Aegis' defeat in war. Well, it's going to end right now. Simon! And the final lot. Wait, your majesty! This madness must stop! You cannot pay a tribute with the lives of your citizens! I face war if I don't! Then thousands more will die! Then I will kill this monster, and that will be the end of it! Who are you to think that you can conquer the unconquerable? I am Theseus, your son! <gasps> can it be? This will put your doubts to rest, father. It is true. You are my son. Let me go and defeat the Minotaur, father, and end this ruthless practice once and for all. No, no, you must not. You will surely die. That's a risk I will gladly take to make your people safe from this tyrant who calls himself a king. Oh. May Athena guide you safely, my son. Traveling on a ship full of desperate Athenians, Theseus would again be challenged to turn adversity into opportunity. I don't care if he is the king's son. It's crazy to think anyone can defeat the Minotaur. Ictinus is right. I say we steal the ship, set a course for the open sea, and take our chances. And where will we go? These waters are uncharted. Who knows if there is any land beyond Crete? What have we got to lose? Better to take our chances with the sharks than to be eaten by Minos' monster. But if we flee, then King Aegis will be forced to send others in our place. We must accept our fate. What is this talk of fate? Your fate is in your own hands, and in your hearts. This tribute to King Mino stops with us. Now, we sail to Crete not to surrender, but to fight like warriors. You intend to overthrow King Minos? Why not? He's the real monster. Even his own people despise him. But there's only a handful of us, and we have no weapons. <laughs> Oh, you have weapons, but do you have the will? We fight by your side, Theseus. Together, we will overthrow King Minos and free the people of Athens. To our freedom! But Minos has thousands of soldiers, and we are so few. Then we will use that to our advantage. I don't follow you, Theseus. It's easy to lose oneself in a crowd. We just need to dress for the occasion. I see. We ambush Mino's guards, slip into their uniforms, and take the king by surprise. Attack when I give the word. Theseus could not have known how prepared King Minos was. The mechanical giant, Talus, was created for the evil king by the great inventor, Daedalus, and was waiting for their arrival. Welcome to Crete, my friends. I hope you enjoy the hospitality.
A scrawny bunch ages has sent us this time, sire. You don't think he's holding out on you? Ah, there never was much meat on an Athenian. These will do as good as the next. When are you going to put a stop to this, father? Haven't the Athenians suffered enough? A necessary evil, my dear. It serves to remind my enemies the price they pay for threatening my crown. Besides, it's only once a year. So relax, my daughter, and enjoy the show! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen! For your amusement, I have planned a very special performance. Today, our guests from Athens have graciously agreed to dance with the famous fighting bulls of Crete. <laughs> Tomorrow, those who are lucky enough to survive will face the Minotaur! How lucky we are! The merciful king gives us a choice for our fate. But first, my beautiful daughter Ariadne will do what no other mortal has done before. Dare to ride the fiercest of my herd, the White Bull! <laughs> Father, no! My skill with bulls, it's not something to parade around in an arena. You'll do what you're told or spend the day locked in the tower. Yes, Father. Faithful citizens, we shall see just how well the Athenians ride. Bring on the bulls! No! <gasps> My people will not die this way! <laughs> you are giving the orders? Now that is rather presumptuous coming from a peasant to a king. I am Theseus! Prince of Athens! So, King Aegis has a son! What kind of father feeds his child to the Minotaur? I come of my own accord. And what is it that the Prince of Athens has to offer in exchange for his fellow Athenians? I offer a challenge. I will face the White Bull alone. If I defeat it, you will spare my people this savage sport. <laughs> you ride the white bull? <laughs> that should be quite an amusing spectacle. I will let your people live long enough to watch you perish. That's all I ask. You're a fool to do this, Theseus. No one can ride the white bull. I rode a dolphin when I was a boy. Can't be much harder than that. You'll be torn to pieces. Isn't that the idea? Another gory stunt for your father's amusement? Just because we're of the same blood doesn't mean we share the same cruel thoughts. Then why don't you leave him? That's impossible. He keeps me locked in his tower with the rest of his treasures. Then when I free my people, I will free you too. <sighs> You have won! And so I will keep my word. The Athenians will not fight my bulls. They will live until tomorrow. But when they face the Minotaur, they'll wish they hadn't. Take them away!
Ariadne! Leave with me now, Theseus. We can sail for Athens and both be free of my father's tyranny. W what about the others? There's nothing I can do for them. They will die by the Minotaur just as you would have, Theseus. I'm not afraid of any beast. No, you don't understand. Even if you could defeat the beast, you'd never find your way out of the labyrinth. You'd be lost forever. Are you brave, Theseus? Or just a fool? Why waste your life when you can live to return another day and fight King Minos? Your offer is tempting, Ariadne. But I cannot desert my people. They've put their faith in me. Wait, Theseus! Tie this thread around your belt. It is the strongest silk woven from the loom of Athena herself. I don't want to lose you. Don't worry. I won't get lost. Great Zeus! For me. It's my turn to face the Minotaur. Never mind the Minotaur. We've got other fish to fry. But how can we escape? What about the giant that guards the harbor? He is more powerful than any man or beast. Do not fear your opponent's size, but use it against him. Then his strength will become your strength. Where did you learn this way of fighting, Theseus? A little bird told me. The Minotaur is dead, Your Majesty. The Athenians have escaped, and they've taken your daughter. Ah! Stop them! If they leave this harbor alive, I'll have your head! Athenians how to use adversity to their own advantage. A lesson they would remember years later when they would fight side by side with King Theseus. Well, you've tamed the white bull and killed the Minotaur. What is left for the brave Theseus to conquer? There's still one thing. There's this 200 pound barracuda that got away when I was a boy. But I'll get him one of these days. 